All right, guys. So I at least I said I'm taking a break on commentary this week because I got finals. My girlfriend's birthday is coming up. Oof. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just I'm I really am taking a break. I didn't go to MSM. I came here to stream. I, I, honestly, I just like watching some information I've been looking at. I tried to do a little commentary here, but it's hard. But anyways, I'll give you guys grand finals here with the. the I don't want to say you're a loser because you're actually really good. Yeah. With the loot, with the the person who lost the key. <laughs> double eliminated. Double eliminated. Hey, you know what though? At least you got top good. three. Yeah. Top three. Yes. You were underseeded, and you got top three. Come on, bro. You that's can't, true. You can't complain. Yeah, that's true. I can't. But I'm just more happy about how A18 got top four today. Like yeah. all four people from A18 made it to top four. A the best part of okay, like I'm really just talking about it at this point. For you, the best part about it is like you're not really known yet. At the current moment, like in Smash 4, like I just tell people, like, us hit a boss. Mm. Like, you see him in bracket, not last, this is the name for a reason. Mm. So now you're like, oh shoot, like, not last beat Jelani, Jump City, right? And you're like, he went toe to toe with Key, and got top three of the hat. Against 818, the strongest region in SoCal. True. So, true. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, All right? All right, fair enough. <laughs> Anyways. All right, that cheered me up. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's bring it back to how we got here in the first place, right? Nico versus Key, they did play this match out in uh, winners, winners Finals. How did that go? What was the second? Uh, It was actually game five. Oh, I It see. was game five. Uh, Nico kind of adapted towards the end where he knew Key was going to go low, and then he got him with back air. I do respect Nico going the Joker for this matchup because he's not a fan. After the OC Goodwill Invitational event, he lost the Salem, and he's not a fan of the Shulk versus uh, Snake matchup. He actually just tells me he thinks it's, a, it's for sure like Shulk's worst matchup. Oh, uh, yeah, I've heard similar things from other Shulk names too. Because what made that what makes that matchup so hard is that most of Shulk's moves can't break the the Cipher. Mm -hmm. The only move that can is a uh, is if you're in Buster and you fair, but even yeah. then it still has to sweet spot, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Sour spot won't do it. You have to sweet spot, and it does 8.9% with Buster Art over the 8.8 threshold. Mm. So that's the only way you're able to rate Cypher. It is 8%, but it's 8.8%. That's why some people are like, it's 9%. I was like, no. It's 8.8%. Yeah, 8.8%. That's why the little decimals matter. But anyways, keep with that for Oh, uh, Just real quick question. Do the percentages have to add to 8.8, .8 or is it just a move that's... It's a specific move. So you can't... Oh. So let's say, for an example, you have Joker's up air, yeah. and it's a multi-hit. And it only does like four percent each hit. Yeah. That won't break the cipher oh, whatsoever. Okay, I see. It has to be eight point eight percent over. Got it. Got yeah, it. makes sense. To my knowledge, it is eight point eight. I, someone's gonna get into like thing. Oh, I just got, I'll pull up my phone. Makes sense. But yeah, it looks like he's taking. He's been in the lead for the start of this game throughout the whole thing. Like he's really adapted to what must have been happening from the last set because he has a really dominant display right now. Although, as I say these words, like Nico evens up the stock count. Yeah. One to one. He's he's fought like he, he's fought Johnny West side. He's fought he knows who Heavy is. That's a hidden boss of a snake man. Like he rarely comes out every now and then. He just like down, he just downbeat um, three different moves at once, and it, like oh. instantly filled up the gauge. But he took so much percent. For that's it. why. That's why I think like this could be a, a matchup for Joker that Nico prefers to go simply because you are seeing Michael Bay explosions in the background, mm -hmm. but they are going to give you, um, God, Arsene much faster. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing you do. You can take the hit; it's only half the damage. And if you make sure you press B the the right way, you are able to bring out the. You're able to break out the. The rebel, the hit. Mm. Oh, so there's. They're checking on the audio. On the audio. When, yeah, when I was playing. It, it's super important actually to hear the audio for Snake. It's right. one of the characters you actually require. Yeah, I was asking if there was any way to improve the audio earlier when I played him in Losers Finals. There was no way, so I was like, all right. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to try to not get hit by C4. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really bad at not getting hit by C4. It isn't. It isn't as. Uh, heavy armor. So they're running it right back to Battlefield for game two. I actually do like this Battlefield. Yeah, um, um, I, I told Key to go to this Battlefield because it's my favorite because it has my favorite Metal Gear Solid song, Yell Dead Cell, which is the boss battle theme in Metal Gear Solid 2. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's way more than I was expecting, but I'll take it. <laughs> we, we, we take those. We, we take definitely those. take those. $33, man, 92% on key. Immediately, Nico gets our sand. There is the auto shield punish. Another oh, that air. was a good. It's, it's, forward air one is so good because it's got a lot of damage, but all the forward air is in general just a really great move. Mm. Uh, it's, it's really good to call out jumps because it's got two hitboxes. Right. And one of them is a little bit late, and the other one, if you do falling, falling forward air, 
It does combo into other moves. Right. And true, true. And then... Also, real quickly, what time do they cons um, concessions? Yeah, for the validation. I mean, oh, if you haven't validated, then you I'll go out this game. I'll go to the game real quickly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it still doesn't tell me, but I okay. Uh, just to reiterate really quick, mm -hmm. Cipher is damage based armor. It is eight percent. I have been told that it's eight point eight percent. Right. Uh, neither Korogana Hammer or the Ultimate Smash Data Frame base tells me that. Okay. But I can tell you it's eight point eight percent. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, and that make sure your move has like the strongest hit, not the weakest. Mm. So always double check that. Anyways, go. good opportunity for Nico to use Aha there, get spacing, use the gun sliding and maneuver around Snake. I feel like that's what a character needs to do to beat Snake is make sure he has not only movement but a way to survive the explosion and the damage Snake does. And Joker does have that in a package. True. And then um, not to mention too that uh, Nico was doing this earlier too, but guns are like pretty useful in this matchup just because um, Nico would stand at a distance where like guns would do damage and he'd still be far away enough to react to any of Snake's um, burst options like yeah. dash attack. Like dash attack, running, tilt, like you name it. Yeah, like if he... Because he's keeping a distance. It's about a battlefield platform and a half, mm -hmm. where like he threatens uh, Snake more because of uh, side B guns, you name it. And then again, he's yeah. still in a position where he can react to key. So like you'll oh. you'll, you'll see. Oh. I like that he also goes oh. for. Oh, he got him back air. Good tech. Good tech. Of course, being a snake, you have to be ready to attack. And yeah. he's still ready with the back snake air. Snake foxes, they'll, they'll always be ready to attack. Most most characters like really require for you to learn teching for sure. Like learn teching in general, especially stage techs. But like some characters, just like if you want to be at least making out a bracket regularly, learn attack. True. You can even use directional air dodges to tech. Also, oh, he's got the back trappy. air. He's going he has to high. Wait for the air dodge. Yeah. Oh, he didn't give him the air dodge. He was waiting for it too. That's why Nico. Yeah, when he went back to the stage, he wanted him to go for the air dodge. I'm surprised. Uh, caught him so the map. I'm surprised he didn't go for the B reverse landing as well. Mm -hmm. Just to have a C4 grenade out that way if Nico wasn't gonna go for an up air, he had something out there to protect him. Usually that's the snake's life to do. Oh that's true. So he needs to be careful. Oh, he read that. The timing was just unfortunate. But yeah, Keith brought this all the way back. Even percent. Like you can feel the momentum's on his side. Like yeah. momentum is just completely swung in his favor. Nico needs to be careful. Yeah. And yeah. it's kind of going back to how, oh, so oh, close. Oh, and the C4 oh. there with the Tetracorn. I couldn't really hear if it was Makarikorn and Tetracorn. Mm. I don't know how that's going to... I imagine it was probably... See, I feel so bad because, like, all of his moves are Persona references, and I don't know a single name to any of them. Mm. It's not the resort to down B. Aha or... and Nagon are used for RSN in the beginning of the game. Mm. Uh, Makarikon and Tetracon are not actual moves. They're mm. skills that you gain over leveling the characters. Or if you fight special demons, they do give you Makarikon and Tetracon as a card that you can give to any character. Um, yeah, no problem. Um, so yeah, that, those how those those where those moves come from. Uh, gun is Joker's like move. It's actually not even a real weapon. It's actually a um, it's a model gun that uses actual sounds and hits in the game and it's strong enough to actually like scare and defeat demons that's how it works if you're looking at the lore uh joker's knife is actually bigger than it is in the actual game <laughs> that's funny the grappling hook is also from the game a little bit anyways back to the game landing neutral air here's the back air and immediately nico moves in with a forward tilt one thing that i do like for nico to go for a continuous back air it's kind of the metal game with joker is it allows you to go for empty hops, but you can also act out of back air into four tilt, or also read when your opponent might be going for a cross up. So it's just an overall really great tool as part of Joker's just neutral game. Just continuously go for back airs. Very similar to how Sheik would be going for forward airs back in the Smash 4 days. Even now, it's kind of still usable for Sheik as we're seeing Sheik slowly return to the meta, not 100%. Down air, that is a confirm, but he is unable to at that percent. It'll confirm usually into up smash and at occasion raw bear if you're able, if you're fast enough to get it. Mm. Oh, first hit a fair for Joker to follow. Up uh, downer. Like downer oh, okay. can confirm the up air. Um, can confirm the like up smash. Uh, raw bear. Raw, I mean like reverse or rush back air. Right. For the, for the new kid on the stream. For the new. That's. 
I feel like that's one thing that Nico feels really comfortable in this matchup is he's able to go in a little bit more because he knows like, hey, if I'm, the chips are down and I think that <laughs> Snake has me in a bind, I have Rebels Guard and give me free arson. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, one great thing about um, J that Joker has over Shulk is that Joker can very quickly get from point A to point B in the air, mm -hmm. especially because his drift is really good, his movement is really Because, as you saw, Oof. he quickly got into position because he knows that snakes love to just jump in the air. Yeah. So he quickly got into that position and backered him immediately, something that, like, Shulk can't do. Something that a lot of the majority of the cast can't do. Yeah, he has good speed. He has overall, like, great sol solid hitboxes, solid frames. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like is, like, Shulk's ring. I'm sorry, uh... Joker's range isn't the greatest, but I mean, he makes up for that with speed. That's what kind of makes him like very chic esque for sure. Mm, true, true. Uh, he's really good on whiff punishing as well. Oh, I like the fact that he oh. waits for Key to go low, but he missed the forward air, and that wouldn't have not been the proper threshold to still get rid of Cypher. Because it would have been two hits, but it would have been not been enough. That was a really good trap. Down air? Yeah. Oh, back air, I like it. Swipe left yeah. and give him the next stock that I might like. Once again, Rebels Guard, you have to make sure that you let you let go properly. That way you can hit. If not, you're just going to hold on to it and move it. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah, because this game is completely different from the first two. So the first two, you saw that Key was dominant. The second game, you saw that Nico barely took it. But this one, you see that Nico's fully in control. He's figured out what Key is doing. There. And now it's Key's turn to adapt back to him. Yeah. Oh. Down air, there it is, and they can't confirm, but he missed the opportunity. Key with the directional air dodge. It's not the right percent. It's usually like about 100 plus. You can confirm down air into up smash, that or down air into up air. That was a really good coverage with the up smash. It forced Nico to like stay at the ledge, but unfortunately, Key didn't capitalize on it. And this is a really bad Oof. situation. And it's funny because, I mean, now that the meta game is playing out differently than what we anticipated, or might have thought, I mean, there's plenty of time for the meta to still change. Right. Like, Snake is now moving from what was considered a possible high tier to now, like, for sure, a definitely top 10 character. Right. So, Nico is accustomed to the matchup. Like, he's taking MVD to double game 5. He's fought key to game 5 well. The only player I feel that like he has struggled with is Salem because he plays very, very ancient. I remember he played Ally once too, and wait. Yeah. Oh no, and he did not get the ability to actually just blow himself up. Yeah, like I'm not sure like why he went so far out. Like, I understand that he was scared of like the Nico hitting him, but it wouldn't have. It if he went for up B, I don't know the exact like. He could have gone for up B, but he still has to worry about like yes, Nico can hit him for sure. Um, for like Joker's back air, I believe the damage for. Let me find out for you. It's like I know the back air damage is solid. Back air like. Yeah, like it would have been enough, but if Nico was facing forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like he wasn't expecting. Okay. Yeah. Um, either way, it looks like he's just gonna shake that off and go straight into game. As he should. Mm -hmm. Right. Definitely. Yeah, and you. I know that Nico's been playing Joker now for I think about two weeks. Oh, said? I'm so sorry. This is actually really good. Yeah, two weeks. Um, he had a couple L's that he took at MSM last week. Um, oh no, I was gonna say he can blow himself up at that percent because uh, usually around like 120 and 130, I believe, untouchables start happening to characters. So you have to be careful. That's why untouchables are in this game because then Snake would just have infinite recovery. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And we don't have a C stick nair because then the Belmonts would just <laughs> never be able to hit you with that <laughs> to diagonal like aerials. They'd just right. be like, oh great, I get the I get the I get a nair. Um He just looks kind of, he just looks really lost. It's right now. it's hard because now Nico has a character that eliminates Cypher. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, back air is really, really strong because that's nine percent. Right. And it's the threshold that meets to get rid of Cypher. So now he, at that point in the stage where we saw earlier, yeah. right, he was trying to be wary of back air because, yes, he's going to get hit by it and it's going to knock out the Cypher. Right. And he has no other play afterwards. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're seeing Nico a little bit more dominant here uh, and sliding and make sure he comes back on stage. Respect of the grenade and mm -hmm. the spacing where yeah, he's, he's at. Yeah, that was really smart with the, sh the empty hopping in place. Good Aha wants Key to hold the shield or take the damage. Either way, damn if you do damage, you don't free our wow, set. Two, yeah, two hits filled it up. That was crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. He's that's... gonna give up. Yeah. Yo, that's it. That's it. That's that's all she wrote. I'm telling you, man. Like that's why you picked the character up. Hey, we did it. We finished before midnight. <laughs> Four minutes before midnight. Yeah. New new uh, new AG Q, AGDQ record. Right? Wow, that was actually intense. New new. That was more intense than the set. Yeah.
Um, but like just to go back, oh, to cover like a few things for the stream, like right. back air is really good. Um, as you can see, like at that point, like he he looked lost because now like any damage 